The crypto markets are absolutely exploding. And at the front of the pack are Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two most popular cryptocurrencies and the biggest by market cap. But why exactly is this happening? What's caused this most recent crypto explosion and why is it likely to continue? Because if you've just been checked out of crypto or you're just tuning in for the first time ever, you may be scratching your head as to what's going on here. And that's exactly why I want to make this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works with this technology on a daily basis, has been a longtime crypto holder and seen multiple cycles ever since 2017. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And the absolute best way to take advantage of all the insane opportunity that's happening in crypto right now is to become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about exactly why Bitcoin and Ethereum are exploding and why I expect this to continue. So as always, nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. But let's just start off with the absolute bare bones fundamentals, which you have to understand is why does the price of anything go up? Well, it comes down to basic supply and demand economics. If, a, if an asset of some kind has a finite or a predictable uh, supply and the demand goes up, well, that's what causes the price to go up as well. And that's exactly what's happening in cryptocurrencies. You know, both these cryptocurrencies I'm talking about, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are scarce assets, okay? They have a predictable supply, okay? The Bitcoin supply actually grows a little bit every single day, and the Ethereum supply is actually shrinking a little bit every day. More on that later in this video. But they're scarce, they're stable, and the demand's going up like crazy. So what's affecting this demand side of the equation? Well, definitely one of the biggest things that's caused the demand to go up lately is what's going on with the ETFs, okay? So if you're not familiar with what that is, basically it's called an exchange traded fund. And you can do this with multiple different things like stock indexes or indices, depending on how you want to say it. And so most recently, uh, Bitcoin in particular has gotten an ETF and multiple ETFs, in fact, where basically you can buy Bitcoin through traditional means like on your brokerage website without having to go buy it on a cryptocurrency exchange. Now, you might say, why is this a big deal? But it actually is a really big deal for institutions who want to buy cryptocurrency in size in a way that you or I can't, who may want to buy billions of dollars in Bitcoin. And that's exactly what's been happening, okay? With the Bitcoin ETFs that have launched, we've already seen billions of dollars of inflow come into these, and that's been one of the big reasons why the actual price has gone up. In addition to that, lots of other people are seeing this as a really good sign and want to accumulate Bitcoin because they anticipate this volume to grow and grow, and they want to ride that train you know, out of the station. Now that's for Bitcoin, okay, but what about Ethereum? Well, Ethereum also has multiple ETF applications in the pipeline, so they are not approved yet. But this is the exact same state that Bitcoin was in just a few months ago, okay? So you can see all the different uh, ETFs for Ethereum uh, in the pipeline, including BlackRock, okay? The number one ETF for this with basically 100% success rate of getting their ETFs approved. BlackRock is a $10 trillion asset manager. They're one of the biggest reasons the Bitcoin ETF got approved. They have their name in the pipeline for the Ethereum ETF as well. And so there's a pretty good chance this is going to get approved in just a few months. And just like we saw with Bitcoin, while it was pending approval, lots of people were buying Bitcoin in anticipation for this happening, okay? And that was one of the reasons the price actually increased to the level that it is today. And it's pushed past that level because the ETS have actually been a really good thing for crypto. And so in a similar way, lots of people are going to be buying Ether or Ethereum in anticipation of this ETF or multiple ETFs going live and seeing the same type of inflows into the asset, just like Bitcoin is going to have. All right, so another big reason that the cryptocurrency prices have absolutely exploded recently just have to do with the crypto cycles in general. And this is honestly probably one of the biggest factors behind the ETF, okay? So if you think about it, crypto has historically been a very cyclical asset. Basically, roughly every four years, the price goes up like crazy, all right, has a blow off top and then goes down for about 12 months, all right? Now, this time actually is different because everyone thought that crypto is going to have this nice predictable four-year cycle where we, you know, break the all-time high at the end of 2024, but that's not what's happening, okay? And I've made multiple videos on my channel talking about this possibility ahead of time and it's here where basically we get to that all-time high spot a lot sooner, in this case, a little over three years, not four years. And so the cycle's moving faster, okay? And so whenever that happens, there's a lot of people that are caught off guard and feel like they've got to get into the asset, which is a huge recipe for the price to accelerate going forward. Not only this, historically speaking, whenever crypto breaks past its prior all-time high, in this case, Bitcoin, 
the cycle tends to accelerate like crazy, okay? That's when the mania phase starts to happen. That's kind of what's happening right now. And so a lot of people are gonna be buying crypto in anticipation for that because they don't wanna miss the mania phase. And that's what's also gonna cause lots of other people to go in because there's this kind of psychology that like, okay, once, you know, Bitcoin broke its all-time high, that's the time that I need to buy, right? A lot of inexperienced people will do that. And even experienced people, it's just sort of how human nature and psychology work. And if you go look past it, any other crypto cycle, the move past the prior all-time high is usually quite explosive. All right, so another reason that crypto markets have been exploding like crazy also has to do with monetary conditions and just the economy and the stock market and everything outside of crypto. You have to understand crypto doesn't exist in a vacuum all by itself. It's also influenced by lots of other external conditions, okay? So in the past, we have rarely seen a period where like crypto is going up like crazy while the stock market is going down like crazy. It typically doesn't work that way. They're somewhat correlated, but they also really follow a common thread with what's going on in the economy. Are we seeing, you know, loose financial conditions that are more accommodative or very restrictive ones. And of course, we saw some pretty restrictive monetary conditions starting off at the end of 2021 when interest rates changed, when everybody got scared that we're going into a recession. And that's what caused you know the stock market to basically crash for about 12 months. Crypto is the same way, but they've both led to a recovery. The stock market is at new all-time highs and crypto is in the same boat. And a lot of this is just forward-looking with anticipation for what's going to happen in the future, that the future looks more optimistic than it did just a year and a half ago, that interest rates are coming down, that the economy is cooling off. We didn't get some crazy nasty recession everybody thought we were going to. And this has really helped the crypto markets. All right, so that's why crypto has been exploding up to this point, specifically Bitcoin and Ethereum. But why do I expect that to continue to happen? Okay, so mostly for the same reasons that we got here in the first place. All right, we'll start off with the ETFs like I was talking about. We have, you know, lots of actual adoption of Bitcoin ETFs happening. It's not slowing down. It's only speeding up. Okay, and that's nothing but bullish for Bitcoin and all of crypto. Okay. Also, the Ethereum ETFs coming up down the road, they're not approved yet. People are going to try to front run that opportunity. And whenever they're actually approved, I expect them to be fundamentally valuable to Ether just like they are to Bitcoin. Okay, there's no reason not to think that. All right. So in addition to that, the crypto cycles like I was talking about, typically whenever you bust past the prior crypto all-time high, that's when things get crazy, all right, for at least six to nine to 12 months. And there's no reason to think that that's not going to happen again. In addition to, you know, the economy and what's going on with the stock market and monetary conditions, you know, 2024 is an election year. And especially in the United States, there's a lot of pressure to try to make things look good for a sitting president. And you typically don't see really restrictive things during that. They want to see the stock market look good. And so for the same reason, I think we'll see, you know, a backdrop that really supports the next wave of crypto expansion to make this cycle play out uh, properly. And the only caveat I would have to those is if we have some type of, you know, really massive global event that causes the entire stock market to go down, uh, crypto will probably not be immune from that. Also, if we have some type of crazy, uh, you know, existential threat to cryptocurrency itself, which I think is very unlikely, it of course would cause crypto to go down in the short term. But as I see it, the same things that basically cause crypto to get to this point will most likely cause us to continue for many, many months in the future. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are there other reasons why the cryptocurrency price has gone up from here? Did I miss something? Do you actually expect it to continue from here? Is the top in? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. While being in the crypto space is awesome, while holding crypto is awesome, I do it myself. The absolute best way to take advantage of all the crazy opportunity happening right now is to become a blockchain developer so that you can you know, increase your income, skyrocket your salary well past 100K, build your own trading bots, your own DeFi apps. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step from -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.